This video is brought to you by Wise. For the next 48 hours, we're going to be living on this boat. Right here in hidden Indonesia. Ready for this adventure? Hey, we're Steven, Jess, Little Hunter, and Baby Koa. We just hopped off a 10 day incredible experience through Mongolia and then headed straight to the Philippines to live on a houseboat. And now the adventures in Southeast Asia continue. When you think of Indonesia, you probably think of Bali. But a lot of people don't know that only an hour's flight away, there are a ton of hidden spots that are just as stunning. It always makes me feel like I'm gonna cry. This is so beautiful here. And on this boat life tour of the crystal clear waters. Wow, the boat looks so cool from this spot, Steve. We get to witness the Komodo dragon. He's just right here. And spend some family time relaxing and relaxing. <laughs> Soon these skies are going to be filled with that. Wow, wow, there's so many! What a beautiful part of Indonesia. You may be thinking it's quite far to get to these crystal blue waters, but our journey started in Bali in Denpasar. We just caught a one hour flight, landed out here in Lavon Bajo. All right, Steve, let's go find this boat. Before catching a little bus ride out to the port. All right, now a short ride from the airport to the jetty port. I can't see our boat anywhere, but I have a feeling we need to take a speedboat to get out. Ready for this adventure? Thank you so much. Cheers. Oh. We got this. And we're in. Okay. First impressions, this place is beautiful. Oh, cheers everyone! Yeah, cheers. cheers! What an adventure out here! Cheers to the adventure! Cheers! 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 Woo. Cheers, Hunter! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Thumbs up for the boat! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure is this your room? Yeah. Wow. I even got a bathroom. Wow, I'm sick. Yeah. Have a look. Wow, there's a toilet. There's a toilet. Uh, oh, we've got a balcony. Wow, I'm sick. It's pretty really cool. Yeah, it's uh, super cool. Wow, <laughs> a balcony. I don't have any nap. It's too big for me. Sailed out, I think, to the national park now. Hey, yeah. and lunch is served, and then I think we're all going to go swimming. Yeah. Oh no, thank you. Alrighty, straight after lunch, we are just jumping straight into it. We've come to jump off at our first island. Good for a beach swim, and two, there's actually a little hike you can do to the top. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring you back. Uh, we've been on the ocean the whole time. I'm excited to head up and actually see a bit more of this national park. Clear's coming up with me. Mum's on mum duty. <sighs> Easiest hike in the world. Beautiful stunning view down there. We can see Jess and Hunter and Koa and they've set up a little umbrella for them. As you guys can see, we brought my sister along yeah. for the trip. <laughs> Trying to get her to come on some more trips. Getting to Indonesia is like three hours from Perth. She's joining us for our little expedition. Yeah, thanks guys. So grateful. <laughs> she has something she wants to show you. What have you done? Oh yeah. Oh, I feel good. Did you make that? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> These days they fill with color. Oh yeah. Oh, the sun 
together and now they're holding up. He likes the boat. <laughs> this place like a painting. This is so nice you come to the front of the boat. <laughs> I'm sure there was a way more technical term for the front of the boat. Just hanging out, watching as the sunset. We're going to a beautiful sunset spot where apparently there are some fruit bats out there. But I am just happy sailing. Please well, come enjoy. Yeah, it looks like a good spot up there. <laughs> this is awesome. So nice. Yeah, it's so cool. Oh my. <gasps> Look at this view. Wow. I definitely think if you're coming out to Komodo, a boat is the way to do it. I feel like the boat might be the only way to do this, right? I think so. It's like we're in the National Park. How else are you meant to get around without a boat? It's just made up, it seems, of all these different islands. Wow, let me go right out here. Oh. Wow, the boat looks so cool from this spot, too. Guys, like Jess said, this year it's about ticking off some bucket lists and coming and sailing in Komodo. Hopefully, fingers crossed, see some dragons. Yes, how amazing will that be? And it's such a cool way to see it with the family as well. Like they can just relax, like just then you were able to go for a hike. I would have made like a little sandcastle with Hunter. And I don't know if it's just a Southeast Asian thing when we're in the Philippines, when we're in Indonesia. The locals are just so friendly. So like friendly. they all just want to help with the kids. Yeah, it's amazing. So they're helping with Koa, all loving Hunter. She, right now she's just chilling out. They've made us some chips. We're just enjoying the sunset, basically the front, the front of this ship. <laughs> so grateful that you're in such a beautiful place and you get to experience it with your kids and then he's just still chilling with us it's like I don't know I'm all emotional too this is so cool <laughs> it's so cool it's so beautiful I always feel like extra appreciative when you get to experience these places like this with your kids and like I'm like show all of you these amazing places that you can come to and I don't know <laughs> We just want to say a huge thank you to WISE for sponsoring this video. As we've been using WISE as our international travel card and international banking service for years now. So imagine being able to pay for your food and experiences while you travel without having to worry about exorbitant fees and hidden fees. So with WISE, you can just do that. You can use your bank card and withdraw money in over 175 different countries using up-to-date exchange rates Plus, you can get ATM free withdrawals up to a certain amount. So we recently traveled to Japan and there was this experience I really wanted to do was an overnight capsule bus. And I tried paying with my local Australian bank card on their website, uh -oh. would not accept it, tried my local credit card, none of it worked. However, I easily went onto the WISE app and I transferred some money into the local Japanese yen and boom, instantly was able to use my card and it happened straight away. So you can actually easily just order the debit card on the app, but just say you're traveling and you need to get some British pounds. So you can easily just log into the app, you can create a British account and you can just transfer it within minutes, with, within seconds if you've already set it up. I've sometimes been in lines to buy something, realized I've had no currency. I've just logged in, transferred across and instantly I've been able to purchase it. So WISE isn't just for travelers or travel journalists. If you're a small business owner or you need to receive money from international accounts, it is so easy to set up. Plus you can save so much money on the international transaction fee. And the best bit is if you're a new WISE customer using our unique URL in the description below, you can get a fee-free transfer up to 500 pounds for your very first transfer. So make sure you sign up to WISE today using our link in the description below so you can start experiencing the future of international transfers today. So all the kids are now in bed and for sunset, we We've just pulled up at a very special spot. So they say here there are fruit bats and they exclusively live here. And we've come right at sunset because at night, that is when they leave where they live and go fly up into the sky. So I have a feeling that soon these skies are going to be filled with bats. We just noticed one bat in the sky and we're like, hey, there's a bat. And then we look out, they're all starting to leave. They said they live in the mangroves. And so the bats are coming. Do you want to come see? Do you want to come see the, the fruit bats? I see. Oh, look. 
Do you see all those black things flying in the sky? What do you think they are? Fruit bats. They are fruit bats. Do you see how they're all leaving from over there? Those trees out there, that's where they live. There's so many sun in the come out. Get one more. And then bats, they sleep all day long. And then at night, they wake up and their bellies are so hungry. And do you know what fruit bats eat? Yeah. What do they eat? Fruit. They do eat fruit. Is it good luck, bats? Good luck, bats. Wow, wow, there's so many. There are one, there are two. To bed? Back to bed, girl. Good night, sweetie. I love you. Oh, he's got one. Come close. Night, night. Oh, thank you. This little Spanish mackerel, right? Yeah. Spanish mackerel. Mmm, it's good. It's good? Mm hmm. It's like a steak. Mm. Yeah, it came out and it looked like a steak. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as we're out here sailing, I think it's best to have fish for dinner. Oh, that's super nice. Watch out, people, there's bones. Yeah, <laughs> bony fish, but still very good. Good morning, guys. Woken up, it's about 6 a.m. in the morning, and we have a quick little coffee breakfast this morning, and then we're doing something exciting today. So they set us up um, what they call first breakfast. What about second breakfast? <laughs> we got about 15 minutes till the national parks opens up and we need to be like the first people in there. Morning. Who's ready to find some Komodo dragons today? Let's hope we get lucky. What do you reckon, Hunter? Do you think we're gonna see them today? Yeah, yeah we are. Morning. Look at these little dudes. Ready to find some dragons? Ready? All right, Hunter, what do you want for your first breakfast? Oh, good choice. So this morning, we headed on to Rinka Island within the Komodo National Park. That's called a Komodo dragon. To hopefully go out and explore to find the Komodo dragons. <laughs> Is it huge? Hunter, oh, come God, look. Look down there. What is it? It's a dragon, Hunter. Yes, it's a dragon. This lizard you've ever seen? Yeah. And do you see his big claws? Yeah. That's why we're up here and he's down there. I didn't think you were going to see one because it's mating season, so it's a bit tricky to see him. And he's just right here. I am looking for food. I think he's looking for food. I think the closest we've come to is seeing the monitor lizards in the Galapagos, but this is why he's some food. I know, I didn't think we were going to see him. And there's another one down there too. Where? Come and take a look. So we are here in August, which uh, if you are here specifically to see the Komodo dragon, it's probably not the best time to come see it. That's why we're super happy that we get to see them because this isn't a zoo. It's more like Jurassic Park. They've just built some walkways for us so it's a bit more comfortable to walk around but otherwise it's the luck of wild animals so we're very happy because right now it's mating season so a lot of the females are out in the mountains at the moment doing their thing. And some fun facts about the babies is that Komodos are actually cannibals. So that means as soon as they have the babies, they actually need to get the babies up in the trees. And the babies will live in the trees for about three months until they're a certain size, where they can kind of go down, catch some little snakes, some little bugs for themselves, and then go back up until they're bigger. So uh, not doing much help for themselves if they keep eating each other. So the National Park Guide was saying that both the males and females will eat the babies. So yeah. <laughs> Very hard first start to life. Oh yeah, look, there's a deer. Oh wow, look, do you see the deer? Yeah. That's a little horn. So we've now walked off the boardwalk and into the jungle and both of our guides have sticks at the moment. They just need to tell you enough about how dangerous these animals are. Yeah, that one's perfect. Look at it like looking up and around. Mm -hmm. That one is just chilling. He's just chilling, is he? He's just is that chilling. One? Look at that one. Mm. Who are you being? Mm, Mardo dragon. <laughs> Tomato dragon. Is that what they did? <laughs> they stuck their tongue out and looked grumpy. <laughs> Just hike to the top of this beautiful viewpoint. We can see the whole bay. We can see the entire island that we're on. Beautiful start to the day. 
It's honestly days like this that we are so thankful for the experiences we can do together as a family. From waking up in such a beautiful part of the world to getting to learn more about these stunning creatures. Did he see it? How many did we see? One. We saw four. Actually, I see five. Your one. So for the last couple of hours, we have just been relaxing. We had our <laughs> second breakfast, played some Uno. I win! We won! Yeah! <laughs> An hour and a half cruise, had a mini nap, just looking out at the beautiful scenery. So this place isn't just known for seeing the dragons. All the beautiful landscape above the ocean is also known for its diving. So today we are getting changed and we're going to go head out on a dive. Me and Cleo are going to go see what lows below the ocean. We already saw a turtle popping up before. Apparently there's sharks, incredible fish. It's been a couple of years since my last dive, so I'm We've now come to a little beach and we're heading out for sunset. It is a perfect way to end our last day here on the boat. Like How cute is the setup? Oh, and look at this perfect spot to watch the sunset. I want to do a sand castle. Yeah, I do. Let's make a sand castle. All right, let's do it. Koa, I think Koa's decided he likes sunset because whenever the sunset's happening, he gets extra happy. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, if you're happy and you know it, clap your feet, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your feet, clap, clap. But I think this has got to be probably Koa's most beautiful sunset that he's ever seen. What do you reckon, Lola? Yeah. The time of year that we've come, it's been quite windy, and so they were researching and trying to find a beach, and we found one that we can just lie back and enjoy this sunset. But what a beautiful part of Indonesia. Our final sunset, look at that, so beautiful. Almost looks like a boiled egg. You just see how calm the waters are with the little thin sea boats in the background. It's been short but incredible. I want to see more of this place. I mean, wow, it's just the landscape as well, like the different colors. Of course, it's quite windy, so the islands don't really have a lot of tall vegetation on them, but look at that. Oh, look who's joined me for the sunset. I know, I came down and touched the water. Let's see how warm it is. Oh, it's nice. Can you dig your toes? This is first time in Indonesian waters. Ready? Steady. Oh, do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> Good morning.
morning everyone it is unfortunately our final day here on the boat and we thought we needed to start today by showing you a little bit more of this boat because it is so unique here in Indonesia about a thousand years ago they've been using these boats they're called Penisi boats which I think if you do come to Indonesia you should probably see it on one of their traditional boats but let's show you guys around starting off here which I think is a pretty cool spot because something cool about this boat it is booked with yacht sourcing by the way is that all your dives are included so this area right at the front is basically our diving area so you got all your tanks, you got all your gear that you need to go diving and the diving here has really been absolutely incredible as you've probably seen from all the footage. But coming through here, this has been a little like chill out spot. This is where we've been playing board games, hanging out, having some drinks together. And coming upstairs is where we've been eating all our meals and this is where the captain has been sailing the ship and where he's been sleeping as well. Which I look like I'm sailing the ship. Go. This is where I guess all the magic happens. This is how he's been getting us to and from places. And you can see they've even got like living quarters in here too. So this is where we've been having all our meals every day. And this is where you can chill out in the back of the boat and watch as we sail away. All right, and then I'll take you guys inside the boat. All right, so coming inside, here's the inside of the boat. So we've got a little dining area inside. We've also got an area where we can make coffees, a full kitchen where they've been cooking us all our meals. Also, all your meals are included on the boat, which is pretty cool. And then here is the bar where we've been getting a couple of mojitos each day, which has been really nice. And in here, this is our bedroom. So we've actually been sleeping. Steven, me, Hunter and Koa all in this bed. And it has been fine, which is pretty cool. We've got aircon in here. It is really open in this part of the boat, which I love. We've got a bathroom in here with a marine toilet, full shower with hot water, which has been so nice. And all windows letting in a lot of light. And probably my favourite part about our room is we have a little balcony at the back of the boat here. So this is where we've been chilling out and mainly watching the sunsets from back here, which has been really nice. And now coming into the front of the boat, but underneath, there are two more rooms down here. So one has been Cleo's room. So this is where Cleo's been sleeping and then there is a little bathroom in there for her. And then next door is another room with bunk beds. So if you had like a bunch of kids and stuff, you could come and stay in this room, which also has a bathroom, but we've kind of been using it to store our luggage. And we have about six local Indonesians that have been taking us around from the captain to our dive master, our chef, host. And what they do is they actually have crew quarters in the front front of the boat. So it's just really huge. And if you guys, I don't know, there's six of you, you kind of just book out the boat. So you can become super affordable if you guys wanted to just, you know, bring a couple of friends with you. Plus on Yacht Sourcing, who we booked through, you can start from affordable boats like this one, right up to your super yacht, luxury yachts, if that's what you're into. But we have a few more hours left on the waters and I think we're gonna head in for a beach day. The water looks extra clear today. Like the Maldives or something. I need dolphins. Dolphins. So our guides were just saying, uh, the reason that this place is just so beautiful and pristine is it's actually an abandoned resort. Apparently the owners after the pandemic just couldn't really recover and they just left it. So if anybody stayed in room three, let me know because uh, this is what it looks like now. Uh, a lot of the place has been locked off but furniture has definitely all been cleared out. Do 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 you hold on to that? We can do conga. Conga, conga, conga. Can you do the conga? We're looking for the starfish. Starfish, where are you? Oh, oh. oh so much effort. <laughs> And just like that, our time here in Komodo has come to an end. We're going to be enjoying this last little leg of sailing. We have about two hours to get back to the mainland, so we're going to take it all in, take in the views. It is such a beautiful day today. We have amazing weather, and we're going to miss it. That was so quick. I feel like three days out here just isn't enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, sailing trip. If you're new around here, hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye. Sign up to WISE today by using our link in the description below. See you all next time.